There was an entire band of those earlier, but the rest had to go play at a gig at some other place. Number four, Cody. Number three, Jackson. First half. Jackson wearing the white, and the Bronx did not waste any time. Eric Morales steps right up and knocks it in. This game's only about one and a half minutes old, and the home team's already on the scoreboard, leading one to nothing. They were staying with their game plan, and it was working. Cam Fitzpatrick makes a dive and uses his head on this centering play. That's how you use teamwork to get it done. Jackson was taking control on this contest early, leading two to nothing. Still in the first half, here comes Moore. This is Jasper Kirsten working his way around the defense. He's going to keep it on the ground, and the Cody goalie's about half a second late to react to it. I have no idea what's under his uniform, but hopefully the photographer got a good shot of it. The Bronx are now up 3 zip. They weren't done. Let's get a freshman in on this next play. Miguel Cortez takes the assist, and he'll make a deposit in the back of the net. This game was starting to get out of hand. Jackson would jump out to a 4 nothing lead. Cody would answer a short time later. Wyatt Fabrizio is going to get ahead of everyone and fire a shot to the opposite side of the net and connect for the visiting Bronx. That got rid of the zero on the scoreboard, but last year's state runner-ups were still in a 4-1 hole going into halftime. Second half, the boys of blue would step up their attack. This is Corey Jansma taking a shot, but he's going to get swatted away by Max Prevost. The junior goalkeeper wasn't about ready to let another ball get through after that last goal from earlier. On the other end, Jackson was looking for some insurance, although they didn't need it, and Evan Kuchel wasn't going to give them any extra room. In the end, it didn't matter as the Jackson Bronx would take care of the Cody Bronx 4-1. to